Welcome back everyone. This is Abram with Impact Ministries. As you can already see and probably have guessed, today I'm going to do a review on the ESV Study Bible. And not just any regular study Bible, but it is the ESV Heirloom Study Bible. Let's see if I can bring this into you guys. Coat skin black as you can see. Here's the ISBN number. It does retail for $375, lifetime guaranteed. Here's what the side of the box looks like. The opposite side is going to look the same way. Top of the box, ESV Heirloom Study Bible, Goat Skin Black. Let's bring you into the bottom of the box. You can see the ESV logo. ESV Heirloom Study Bible. You can pause it if you'd like to. Here's all the information. You get uh, more than 2 million words with 20,000 notes, 80,000 cross-references, wow, 50 plus articles on the essentials. You can pause this if you like, okay. Let me open it up. Opening it up, you can right away see that you will be finding a letter by Crossway. Uh, talking about the 80th anniversary edition. Very nicely done, very elegant looking, very fancy looking. You can pause this and read it if you like. Now, when I first opened it up, I had to just say it looked very elegant, it looked beautiful, it was fancy looking. Crossway did it, uh, overdid it right here. I mean, it was just awesome, guys. Crossway, you did an excellent job with the presentation of everything. Everything is just beautiful beautifully pres presented uh, again gold foiled and then even getting to the Bible itself you can see it is covered by this velvet material very nice this shows that they took every precaution to keep the Bible protected until it reached you this presentation is just beautiful it's just beautiful everybody but before I crack open this velvet sheet I want to ask everybody to please be sure that you give us a thumbs up or a like. Subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of future videos because we have more videos coming up this month. Um, so many reviews coming up. So be sure that you are subscribed, everyone. Flipping over the velvet, we see the Bible itself. Very beautiful. beautiful. You can see it very beautiful. Let me pull this baby out. It is goat skin, and I will say I do not know anything. I, I am not an expert in goat, goat skin, everyone, or any type of leather. I'm not no expert. There are many YouTubers out there who are an expert. They've dealt with leather. But it is, this is natural grain goat skin, okay? And the only experience that I have with goat skin is because I bought a Skyler ESV Bible, and the only thing I can tell you in my experience, by my fingertips, is that this feels a little bit different than Skyler's goatskin. Skyler's feels more buttery and, you know, just buttery feel to it. This one, it feels more natural. If I had to guess what a natural goatskin felt like, I would say it feels like this right here. Beautiful, okay? It's still beautiful. It's high quality goatskin. Let me see if you guys can see the grain. Hopefully it's picking up the grain for you guys. Very beautiful. Oh man. There, no, nothing beats the smell of a beautiful goat skin. It smells awesome. Flipping over to the spine. We see it says study Bible ESV logo. logo and then the rest. I will say that this looks a lot better of them using the ESV logo like this instead of just ESV real big down the spine. This looks a lot better, a lot fancier. It is raised hubs. There are raised hubs on the spine. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Very defined, very nice. Here's the back of the here's the back of the goat skin. Again, very beautiful, very supple, 
very soft. I'm flipping up the back side so you guys can see that it does say goat skin right here. Goat skin leather, it is a uh, gilt line around the edge. And it is edge lined with calf skin. The inside leather is calf skin. Very soft, feels very nice. Uh, so it's, very, it's a very beautiful, nice Bible. And as you can probably already tell, it is tabbed in. Um, this which will give you, which will help your Bible last a lot longer, especially for something this huge. This is going to give the book block more support and just help it last a lifetime compared to the cheaper editions. It is uh, gold edged or gold gilded. As you can see, it is gold gilded. It is gold gilded. Okay. Very nicely done. Um, again, flipping over to the front, we do see it is gilt lined around the edge. Gold gilding around the edge. And it is perimeter stitched, everyone. It is perimeter stitched. Hopefully the camera's picking it up there. It is perimeter stitched. You guys are wondering. Okay, it is perimeter stitched. Again, it's tabbed in here. Give it support, so that means that the first few pages are going to uh, be together for support. Flipping through, you have cardstock of a ESV presentation page, marriage, births, adoption, just your typical pages, deaths. You have uh, your ESV study Bible here, ESV opening page, study Bible, title page. Let's see if I can raise this up to you guys. Here's the information if you guys want to pause. It is the ESV text, it says 2016 edition. It is a 2016 edition. And before we go any further, I just want to give you guys some more information. So again, it is natural grain, goatskin cover, calfskin, interior leather lined. Uh, it does have raised hubs. There is art gilding. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. Art gilding of a salmon color. You guys can see it. Salmon colored art gilding. Um, 2016 text. The font size is going to be a 9, everyone. Font size is a 9 to see. Here's your contents. Illustrations. You know, your typical ESV Bible stuff. Study Bible. You know, all I'm going to have it. Your preface. Overview of the Bible. Then we get into the Old Testament. The theology of the Old Testament. I recommend, if you never had a ESV study Bible before, I recommend everybody that buys this or any ESV study Bible, read all your pages because you will have a lot of to learn. You have your, uh, like a timeline of an overview right here on this side. Oops. And then you have the date of the Exodus. You have your introduction to the Pentateuch. Introduction to Genesis. Again, it's going to have the same thing as the regular ESV study Bible. Uh, there are going to be new notes. It does, I did read that they had new notes in here, but I cannot tell you where those new notes are. But you will have new notes. This Bible is printed by renowned Lego on high quality European paper. It is by Lego on European paper. It is bound by Royal Youngblood. Okay, as you can see in the areas where you don't where you don't have text, I don't know if the camera picks it up, probably does, you're gonna have ghosting, okay? You are gonna have ghosting. You got your introduction. And I, I love the introductions uh, on the ESVs, you know, because it gives you all the rundown. It gives you the key themes right here, the theme, history of salvation summary, very nicely done. Genesis and science and so forth. You do get maps scattered. Throughout the text, you get your maps. Hopefully, I'm in view. I keep checking. You get your maps. Um, and then you get your oh, your books right here. Your notes are all down here. 
And I've always loved how they separated this box right here with a lighter or like a deeper color. You get your Genesis, all your notes pretty much are going to be the same. There are going to be some new notes. Again, the font is a nine point font. Okay. The font is nine point font. And then your notes are going to be 7.25 point. Okay. 7.25 again. And it is single column. You know, this is typically what you have in your other study Bible, your other uh, ESV study Bible. Let me see if I can find my other one. Um, you know, this is the other one. This is my basic hardback. But this one is very nice. If, if Again, if you're going to want a Bible that's going to last you a lifetime that you can have forever for your lifetime to be able to hand down to your grandchildren, this is it right here with this gold skin leather. This is going to last you a lot longer. I know, as you may know, leather touch is going to fall apart quicker, sooner, um, may not even last a lifetime. But this is going to be lasting you a lifetime. Um, I would go with this gold skin for sure. It is a very beautiful Bible. As you see, here's another introduction to a book with a map. You know, everything's very beautiful. Let's go to Psalms. As you can see right here in Psalms 135 and 36, there is ghosting, as I said before. You will find ghosting. And that's because this Bible is so huge. Imagine if they had to use thicker paper. This Bible would be over 25 inches thick probably. So they had to go with the thinner paper, but it's high quality. It is printed by Lego and uh, great European paper. It is line match. So in the areas where, where there is text, you're not going to see any ghosting across from it. But in the areas where there's no text, you're going to get this. And I forgot to mention your cross references are are out there on the on the margin like always like they were before got your cross references so again again the text is nine point and then seven point two five for the notes um oh let me go back guys let me go right back I skipped the the ribbons ten millimeter ribbon higher quality than before um I don't know if you remember the old editions of the older editions. Very thin ribbon. You could tell the difference. Oops. Let me see if I can show you guys up here. Uh, so it is thicker ribbons, guys. Sorry about the sirens in the background. So you get four ribbons in this edition, in this gold skin heirloom. Now, the only thing I will say, brothers and sisters, if you're watching... I would say I wish they would have done this ribbon just a tad bit longer. Um, you know, just a tad bit longer. They're kind of short to me. To me, they're a little bit short. Out, Maybe another half an inch would have been helpful. I like to have longer ribbons. Um, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's still a great Bible. This one's a dark brown color ribbon. Second one. And then your third one... Third one is a lighter brown, more like a copperish brown color. And then your fourth one is going to be like a beige, kind of a salmon color. Very beautiful. All 10 millimeters, I believe. And then you get the background to the New Testament right here. I think I've covered everything so far, brothers and sisters, or those who are watching. I believe I have covered everything. Um, as you can sorry, I wasn't looking at the viewfinder. As you can see, it is salmon edge line or art gilded right here. Very beautiful. Let me zoom back out for you guys. Okay, so it's just a very beautiful Bible throughout. Um, I think I covered everything. You know, you get your regular pictures and graphs throughout the Bible. Very nicely done. And I, like I said before in the very beginning, you're going to get a few new notes. I believe there's some more notes in there. Uh, it's what the Evangelical Bibles website says. So I take it for for truth. They, they're not going to lie to us. Now, 
let me show you guys something right quick. This is very helpful. Here's the end of Revelations right here. Okay, here's the end of Revelations. And then all this is going to be helps, helps in the back. Helpful notes, articles, and graphs, and all that kind of stuff. All this is very helpful, I'm telling you right now. Let me give you an experience. Uh, there was a time when I had some Jehovah Witnesses coming through my home, knocking on the door. I would always just slam the door or wouldn't answer because I didn't know how to talk to them. But the articles back here helped me out. Like right here is God's plan for salvation, you know, of salvation. It gives you the rundown, you know, and breaks it down for you. These are the kind of articles you get. Biblical Doctrine Overview. Father, Son, Spirit. And then they even have, right here, a Trinity. So these are the types of articles back here that will help you. And like I said, I had difficulty talking to the Jehovah Witnesses. I would just rather slam the door in their face and just not even answer on Saturdays or whenever they would come on Thursdays. The beginning of life and abortion. So these are the type of articles you will run into back here. Very helpful. The truth is spoken here. Um, right here it's the beginning of life and abortion. I just want to give you guys some examples on type of articles you'll find back here. There's another one I wanted to show you. I mean you'll run into articles like the Apocrypha, what it says about the Apocrypha, the reliability of Bible manuscripts, and so forth. And even they have, you know, they tackle difficult uh, subjects like homosexuality and what forth, you know, what not. Here you get the history of salvation. It gives you all the scriptures that pertain to the the salvation or preparing the way for Christ. They, they list, you know, right here is Genesis and they list all the verses that reference it. Exodus, they list all the verses, you know, important references in here. You know, all the way through. And I will tell you that I know you get your charts and programs or diagrams back here. Abbreviations. I wish that siren would stop. How long are they going to run it? I will say that ESV always has the most extensive, extensive concordance. Look at all this concordance. Now look. It is like 76 pages, I believe. 76 pages of concordance. This is all concordance in the back. Look at that. All that is concordance. 76 pages. Very extensive. Like a huge concordance. You get your Bible reading plans. You get your weights and measurements. And then you get your maps. Your beautiful colorful maps. The only down thing, the only thing I find wrong with the maps is right here, brothers and sisters, is they combine these two together, and there's like something, or, I mean, it's not really that bad, I mean, it's not that far in the gutter, but right here, it would have been better if they would have separated these two and put a border, like a small border, something like this, maybe, watch. Something like this, but maybe closer together, not so long, big of a border, but something like that, separated it, you know, so that way... Nothing would fall down there into the gutter. But I mean, it's not that bad. I thought it was, but no, it's not that bad. You know, the rest of the maps. You get a lot of maps. Lots and lots of maps. Thick cardstock paper. Very thick. Not very glossy either. And you get your blank pages back here. And again, the back cover. So yes, brothers, sisters, people that are watching. This is the ESV Study Bible. Um, I give it, I give it a high recommendation. I give it a five out of five. Everything was beautifully done. The goat skin is beautiful, feels awesome, very supple, very flexible. Um, again, um, the cover is goat skin, natural grain, goat skin, raised tubs. This retails for three seventy five, as I said before. But for a promotional pricing, you can find it on evangelicalbibles.com. For what is it, two twenty five, a hundred and fifty dollars off right now, guys. If you go and order this right now, and I, I highly recommend it. If you want a Bible that's gonna last you forever, go with this one. Go order right now at the promotional pricing. You will not regret it. Um, I believe I covered everything. I already told you it was a nine point font. 
uh, 7.25 note size. The page quality is high quality because it is printed by the Lego, uh, highly renowned Lego printing, uh, bound by junk blood. So that's all I got to say about this Bible. It's highly recommended. I give it a 5 out of 5. I love it. I know that you will love it. Now this is a Bible that is going to stay on your desk. This is not one that you're going to want to carry around to church. You're not going to carry from house to house. You're going to leave this here on your desk because it is a heavy one. This one weighs at least 5 pounds. I mean, I'm guessing because I'm not good with weights either. But if I had to guess, I would say it was at least 5 pounds. 5 to 6 pounds. It is heavy. So leave this one on your desk. That's all I got to tell you, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos because there are more Bibles coming, more reviews coming. Thank you guys for watching. God bless as always.